Welcome into another Musings from the Mind of Tortorial, where we're going to take a look at making this holographic globe from an image using geometry nodes. So with that said, let's jump into Blender. Uh, I am going to get rid of the cube and the light. And Shift A, we are going to add a mesh UV sphere. I'm going to hit I to get in close on here. Shade smooth. Uh, I want to subdivide this guy. And let's hit it three times. And I think that should give us enough uh, faces. Uh, let's uh, look at a couple of things right off the bat that are going to make this a uh, help for us. Uh, first of all, let's go into settings. Make sure we're in Eevee and select Bloom. Uh, and then go to World Settings and let's just select a black background. All right, uh, Shift A, we're going to add a cube. Uh, G, X, just to move it off to the side somewhere. Press 1 to get on the front uh, view. And let's, in this cube, with the cube selected, let's add a emission shader. Uh, we can do blue, green, whatever. Uh, and we're going to set the strength to about 5. And then let's select the uh, sphere. And let's go to Geometry Node Editor. So we're going to hit New. Um, and then we want to add an instance to points? No. I want to add an instance on points. And we'll put our geometry to points instances. We're going to pull our cube down here and put the cube into instances. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I did location. I was like, why is that not working? Uh, we want to put the geometry into instances, and then we're going to go down here and make our scale 0 0.005. Got some good uh, dot matrix going on here. And then the trick here is now we want to use an image to control these dots. So we're going to do Shift A, and we're going to add an image texture. Um, and... For the image texture, I have uh, this black and white uh, map, uh, flat map, and we are going to put that into color into selection. And you can see we're already starting to see a little bit, but our problem here is it doesn't uh, know uh, what vectors to apply this to. So we're going to take our group input, we're going to pull it down here to vector. And let's go over here to our geometry node, and we're going to click right here. And we're going to change this to UV map. Now you can see it's starting to work, but um, um, it's kind of in reverse of what we want. So we're going to just flip that with a color ramp. I'm going to throw that in here, and we're going to flip the sliders. And now you can see we have uh, our dots on our map. If we wanted more dots, we can just go back up here, tab, hit A, and subdivide again. And that increases our dot density. One thing you'll notice is, uh, let me hide this guy. One thing you'll notice is there's this line right here uh, where the UV is happening. And that is because it's confused on the vertices. But if we just switch this to um, come from uh, the faces with a mesh to points, and we're going to select faces, now that cleans up our UV. And right there, we have our uh, holographic image from a image texture. Hope this was helpful. Until next time.